Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another day of the video, darling. Look how nice it is outside. It's seven o'clock at night. <sighs> Ignore the building sight line. But yeah, we are home, and we are ready to rock and roll. What's been going on today is basically it's been quite busy. We went to one lecture in the morning, which was a maths lecture. We did about uh, convergence and stuff by um, limits to infinity and things like that. Trying to get fun. I uh, got me to pills in my mouth. Sorry, I always do that. Um, what else do we do? We did. We then went to a programming lab. Ah, oh, programming lab. Yeah, an attempt to fix our programming coursework that I've been stuck on for so long. Um, because they were supposed to fix it when they mark it. They're supposed to like get it to a level where it works, and then you can move on to coursework three. But they didn't do that with mine. They just kind of just moved on. He didn't really look into it very well. I mean, when I demoed it to him. Um, so we're doing thing. I've been on the past three weeks trying to fix this bug. You may remember me mentioning it every now and again. Um, it's irritating as hell. And I couldn't figure out why. And we figured out why after an hour and a half of sitting there trying to explain what the hell was going on. Right. Basically, what's happened is he said that no one else has done the same kind of structure I have. My structure is like four times as advanced as everyone else's is. And it didn't seem advanced to me. It seems like really common sense. No one else has done anything like what I've done. Um, and essentially, it's, it seems to me like it's really straightforward, but he's, he made out like it was PhD, like not PhD level, like postgrad. Is that PhD? Like that's a postgrad kind of area that I'd like, do, like wandered into like a moron. He didn't know how to fix it. He didn't know how, anything about like the domain and how it works and stuff because there's like special things that go on in the OS that it's uh, being researched at the moment and stuff and how things are working like that. But essentially, how everyone else had just like built programs that run a game and run a server. What I'd done is I'd built a server which then builds within itself, which you're not supposed to be able to do, and he's wondered how the hell I did it. I built within it a proxy server which then had to communicate with itself, which it can't because it's the same server, but it, it can, but it gets really messy. Um, and this basically, this server here, this imaginary server here, deals with like connecting things and this actually runs the game so basically what I'd done is if this goes down I'd like I'd implemented security that they use on like big things like I don't know like online games and stuff like SimCity or things like that if it gets inundated by people wanting to play it the game is still running on a proxy server and that's fine and that's like horrendously advanced stuff and it's really hard to implement in things and he essentially said after an hour and a half of trying to fix it start again from scratch which, to be fair to you, there's good and bad in because now I've now I've like jumped away from that. I now know exactly what I need to do. I know roughly how long it will take me, and it's not hard to do within reason. Um, it's just a pain in the neck because he could have told me three weeks ago when he marked it when they were supposed to tell me. So uh, it's a bit of a ball like, but you know, um, came out of that and then went to a systems architecture lecture where we did about more internet protocols and things. Came back here, had a little break with Ben Ben, because Ben and Ben, Ben and Beth have gone to Exeter for the weekend, I believe. Um, and now I'm back, just had some din-dins, had some bangers and mash, and I'm gonna start some programming. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm in the mood for a programming sesh. And I'm gonna get as much of this done as possible in one night. We now have a week, again, to program it. But I'm not venturing into areas that are unheard of before. All of this should be relatively easy stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm moving on. I'm get some programming done. Oh, something else I had to tell you. Remember when I was supposed to say this at the beginning of the video? God damn it. Now I've lost a load of people that, were, that aren't like pff, hardcore. Um, there is a video in the description, the first link in the description. Do you remember when I went to London with Emily? Her video footage of that video is now live and it's on her channel, so that I've linked it in the description. It's the first link. So um, yeah, go and check that out, because it's pretty good. I like it, I would have never been able to do that. And I tell some pretty friggin' hilarious jokes in it, because, come on, I'm hilarious. Sorry, Emily, I tried to remind myself to say that at the beginning of this video, and it just didn't happen. Right, okay, let's get on with this. And it's going well. I'm taking a bit of a grapefruit break, because I feel my head is starting to hurt a little bit, and it's bugging me. Um, so I'm taking a little break from all the work and um, stuff to eat grapefruit and watch some videos a little bit and relax down a bit. Basically, what I've got now running is... This, look how epic this looks. 
boom, look at this mother trucker. Then you type in player names here. You can put Jamie, like that. Then you could put David, like like that. And then you can click enter names. And then it opens, because it's very clever, it opens a friggin' directory so you can pick an incompatible map because I haven't got another map apart from the default one that's compatible. So if you press cancel, it loads the default one by default and then it loads the default thing up here. And then it works like it did before. Look, ha, uh, isn't that cool? It took me ages, it's just occurred to me I need to make sure that the, both of the player names actually have names. Um, so yeah, I would to do that lol. Uh, one thing to implement, see I didn't think about that, did I? Lol. So um, after we do that, majig. Yeah, okay, I'll figure out how to do that. Once I finish watching this video, so I need to, to, to do a bit of validation on the player names, just make sure they've both got player names. And secondly, um, I then need to move on to the next screen, which actually turns this, this output thing here, into a nice, pretty screen to look at. About as pretty as that other one you just saw. And it's time for me to go to bed, I think. I'm starting to feel a bit ill. Like, and I think I need to go to sleep. I think I'm, my head's, I'm gonna have to take some headache tablets before I go to bed. And stuff. And I think I need to buy some more headache tablets soon as well. I guess someone to go shopping tomorrow. Um, program is going well. I've built the initial um, the initial thingy up now. Um, oh, I love that. Wait. I've built up the initial um, GUI now. It's all nice and up and running. Um, that lets you start and initialize the game. And I'm currently going through all of the information that's needed for registering the players and figuring out how to send the functions once I've got the functions. I'm basically building up all the framework so that when we do have the GUI, the GUI will just be able to send it straight to this certain class and it'll be able to work it from there. So I'm just figuring that out and I'm in the process of it and I've got the plans all sorted and staff. Um, it's just uh, it's just a case of actually getting it sorted now, which is jolly good fun. But it's half past two, I've gone past my bedtime and yeah. So I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna go to bed. This is going well. I've actually had fun. I've actually been having fun doing this until my headaches started to kick in. Oh, oh, my head. Deary me. Um, I think I'm, I'm gonna set an emergency lion alarm as of tomorrow, just in case. Ten o'clock. I will hate myself if I get to it though. So I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> Um, we'll keep the other ones running for now. So eight o'clock, otherwise. But yeah, um, the plan is to hit this hard tomorrow. Hopefully, my head's fixed and stuff, and I don't feel poorly because that would be terrible. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to bed. I think it's looking at screens too much, so it's just gonna go straight to sleep. Oh shiz. Uh, yeah, exit S. Yeah, saving. Sweet. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. I think uh, it's just a case of looking at screens and stuff, and it's somehow a bit funny. We're going to be working our face off on this tomorrow, um, as of the next couple of days as well. We're going to be working our faces off um, just to get this up and running. Well, except Sunday. Well, Sunday we're going to do the group coursework program, which should be nice and swish and simple. Um, that's the plan, Stan. It's going well. All I need to do is figure out how to how to like keep track of what's a bot and what's a player so that I know which functions to send to which um, class and stuff and as soon as I've got that nailed I've essentially got it up and running um, multiplayer and stuff and it's just a case of making the nice pretty gooey and getting all the marks and stuff so yeah I've had fun I don't think I'm making much sense that's how much my head is hurting right now and I will catch you later